usiseme hivyo because i knew ukisema una sleep una unataka kulala i don't know what you mean you want to sleep and you are in the hospital Welcome to yet another episode of Real Life Stories on Citizen Digital. My name is Anya Thira and today I'm seated next to a lady who's going to share how she lost her twins. Before we continue with the show, allow me to thank Somerset Westview for giving us this lovely location where we can come and share our stories. Karibuni sana na karibu sana. Asante sana. You look really pretty. Thank you. Thank As you so much. Asante sana kwa kukuja. Jani mekuwaje get into this place? It was not hectic. Kukuwa na jamdho kidogo tu. Okay, but my driver, I'm very happy to connect with Zuri and to be here now. Kindly to leze we ni nani, umetoka wapi, umkazi wa wapi, unafanya nini? Okay, mi naitua Stella, lakini jina langu kamili ni Stella wako nyoka mao, lakini naitua Stella Pemuko. Pemuko ni buwanangu. It's a business name. Lizali watuka mwatoto wa kawaida. Lakini kile nilipenda sana kwa wazazi wangu ni watu wanajua Mungu so they took me to church ari nami pia nikapenda kanisa sana nikapenda mambo za Mungu so mimi kitu yenye naweza sema kabisa kwa maisha yangu at my youth si youth youth nilioleka hapo nikiwa youth <laughs> but mahali venye naweza sema nilifurahia sana ni wazazi wangu kunionyesha jia za Mungu na pia kunionyesha kila wakati if i want to spend time naenda kanisani so venye venye nilikuwa na uko place and worship then nilikuwa naona tu mtu anapita and then ananiangalia unaona but sasa sikujua ati huyu mtu anani, ananitaka so kwa e, kwa bahati mzuri ama bahati baya ile salon nilikuwa nimeandikwa kazi ile salon ndipo bwanangu alikuwa anapita so my, 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 my sikwa ya titafuta bwana mwingine the man i saw the man i'm with now sasa dia alikuwa anapita and then akaanza kunichogoza and because my dad alikuwa mtu mwenye hawezi patikana na mwanaume okay. na zamani sijui kwa nini watu wa, wa, wa area walikuanga hivyo akikuona tu kuna mtu anakuchogoza ama umesimama kwa mwanaume hizo story lazima zifikie nani zifike zifikie mama ma dad usemekane unaonekana na mtu fulani so na dad kwa nataka hivyo and because tulikuwa na hiyo eh, kupotre ile sisi ni watu wa church sasa hauge kubari kuonyesha watu wa nje wewe si wa kanisa and then my husband was not from I was a PCA he was from Catholic so you know na hata hizo issues za church it's really different sana because me I believe that you you have to get saved is a vitu kama hizo na he wasn't saved by that time sasa lakini kwa upendo wa Mungu hiyo ndio ilikuwa jia so one day alikuja akaniletea chips in the first day we met alienda na kamit dadangu baba mean babangu na mamangu na akamwambia intentions zake akamwambia mimi msichana wanyu nampenda nampenda sana but sasa venye alitoka vita ni rigongo <laughs> ni rigongo wa vita wa ni chapa sana because you know they they thought nitatoa mtu church because you know i was a believer mtu mwenye ameokoka nitatoa mtu church then nimeleta mtu mwingine and then wanashagaa huyu mtu anatoa uh, wanatoana na yeye wapi so banangu hakujari aria yeah, wao hakujibu vibaya walimkaribisha wakampea chai and he left na nikachapwa mm -hmm. sasa venye nilichapwa i loved him so much oh. <laughs> sababu mimi nimechapwa kichapo yenye hata ni it's, it's innocent to meet two ones so every day I'll take my Bible now by Mungu I want to see him to the end he used to come every day that that time he came home mama de Moliza huyu msichana wangu I know my gosh is very innocent unataka nini na yeye because he's kind of older than me na tu miaka kidogo unataka nini na yeye akasema i love her akamwambia na sasa hii kama ashike mimi utafanya akamwambia mama do you know that's what I'm looking for oh <laughs> no no sasa dad babangu alimpenda zaidi because he was that honest but mama unajua ni mama and she has to take care of her girls and and atukiwa hizo harakati za mapesi, mapenzi i got pregnant mm -hmm. and nikiwa home unaona yeah. so na nilikuwa mdogo and then kwetu hakuna mtu alikuwa amebata mimba akiwa home ni kwa kwanza ni kwa wa kwanza mm -hmm. so sasa i was worried will this man marry me but because i loved him so much mimi niambia mungu tunibeki jana mwenye anafanana tuna huyu bwana hata kama hata nioa 
mi mwenye nitaka na mtoto but uh, nijua tu sitaka kwa hiyo boma because of my dad and my mom i made a mistake and nika muongesha nikamwambia if you're not god and if you're god then i'll be coming at your place kukuomba chumvi so my dad wali ni gonga vita saa hiyo i remembered mpaka nilichomeka hapa kwa mguu sababu nilikuwa nawapikia anti chapo so mimi unajua sasa niko na pika chapo na nimechapwa nikaona ni heri ni kufe sababu hakuna haja nikae na hizi mateso zote na napenda huyu mwanaume yani na akikuja hawamuonyeshi hawamtaki lakini mimi mwenyewe ni mimi wananiachia hizo mimi na sister yangu huyo sasa mwenye alipas nilikuwa nampenda zaidi ni sisi tulikuwa tunapitia mashida mingi so yeye yeah, akiniulizia bona mnamchapa bona akikuja msimwambie atukutake amumtaki yeah. so me i went to a shop and then that time dio wakati ma, ma, ma hizi da za malaria zilikuwa zina, malaria queen zilikuwa zinauzwa and then ikaenda nikakopa then the person who was there in that shop ni msichana kama mi i think she didn't love me at all so alinikopeshea 16 malaria queen na mara moja kumi so mimi nienda nikachota maji alafu kwetu kuna shaba mrefu so kuna venye unaweza teremka huko chini so mimi nikateremka huko chini na nikakunywa hizo madawa zote mm-hmm. and then my brother alikuwa ananipenda ana hata sasa yeye ananipenda alikuwa ali, na babangu aliona nikichota maji so akamwambia because you know huyu msichana anakwanga na kichwa sasa zingine kasika kichwa yake inakuwa gumu sana hebu mcheki anafanya nini so alinipata nishakunywa hizo madawa mm-hmm. the first thing he did alikibia na yeye alipata mamangu akikamua akakuja akanishika mdomo na akanipea nini ile maziwa yote yenye tulikuwa tunafanya nini eh, anakamua sasa asidio nikabidi nitapike but i was taken to the hospital nikatibiwa and then i came back home sasa hapo venye bwanangu alikuja akapata ni kumgozwa niko kwa kitanda sasa dio alinichukua na akanipeleka akani hosi so nikaenda ilan hiko hapa na nikaambiwa i'm pregnant that's the day he said it's now, it's now never i have to marry you mm-hmm. so mimi nikaenda kwake and we got married wazazi walijua umeenda kwake hawakujua that day mm-hmm. no they didn't know so sasa tulika na tulinini tulika tulika and then sister angu akatumwa akuja nitafute so sister angu mkubwa wangu kidogo akakuja na akanipata niko huko na akanipata niko sawa and then tukaendelea na maisha ya kuona and then mimi nilikuwa naomba Mungu sasa mimi ni, ni wakati nilipopata mimba nikiwa na miezi ya ikiwa miezi tano nikaota nimepata nini nimepata mtoto mmoja ame katika mguu mm. And then mke sasa what do we say mke mwenye mmeolewa naye na brothers pia alikuwa na miba na pia yeye nikaenda nikamwambia hivyo akaniambia oba but me i didn't take that thing serious hata kidogo yeah. sikuichukulia ati ni kitu yenyewe inaizaleta kitu kwa maisha yangu so venye ilifika wakati niku nini nikujifungua nikaenda hospitali kapata nini Eh, watoto wa, siku anajua so venye nilizaa tubo ilibaki aje then the nurse was the midwife mwenye alikuwa ananizalisha akaona kuna mtoto anatoka na nini na amegua akasema oh god kuna mtoto mwingine i don't know the strength in maisha sijui ni so he, he, she told me ni sasa usukume ama tuite daktari uende theater sasa nimelala so naamka napata bado tu niko na watoto wawili i was like god kweli ni watoto wawili Then mtoto venye kutuliniamuka nikapata sawa the, fa- the whole family was there my side my husband said and my mom's said what wanaambiwa we have to go to Kenyatta hospital because my mtoto mmoja akizaliwa amefanya nini mguu imetokana unaona so you see the dream i had imekujia aje imekujia mm. hapa tukawaambia tunataka kwenda kikuyu hospital so tukatumwa huko kikuyu kwa orthopedic na tukaenda huko na kulikuwa na daktari mzungu akaona huyo mtoto akaniambia huyo mtoto no huyo akaniambia huyo mtoto wako haizi treatwa because one thing is very tiny haizi yeye kwa plaster because ako na 1.7 then amekaa sana bila kuweko plaster like one week and a half then sasa nikamuza atafanywa aje akatoe mguu so you know nilikuwa nienda tu kando nikabia my god you know what i ask for do hata wale wanazaa watoto wanakuwa wako hivyo sio kupenda kwa but god can't be. mimi wangu hajazaliwa it's like an accident you have to heal him so i pray to god and then akaniambia niende nirudi kesho kesho yake kuenda the same same venye niambiwa jana nikaambiwa 
So bwanangu na nini Mwiru sijui tunamhitaji na Kiswahili mkemweza mwenye miorewa pamoja akawachukua huyu mwingine mzuri wakaenda na so mimi baki na mtoto wangu nimemshika na ninaria tu. Then kuna daktari alikuja akani akaniona nikiria kaniuliza mama ni nini nikamwelezea venye nimeambiwa sasa venye nilimwelezea akaniambia hapana don't worry your child will be well alichukua mtoto wangu na akaenda na yeye akakaa like two hours hata sijui alikuwa anampea nini ama alikuwa anakunywa ni but when he came back alileta mtoto akiwa na kanenika plaster kidogo and then akaniambia at home because you know this boy he will be a preacher he be uh, yeye atakuwa pastor Mungu anataongea na huyo tu mtoto so huyo mtoto nilikuwa yani haugemguza ningetaka hao wote wachapwe but ungemguza kabileka mtoto yenu bani akiwa na plaster na mtoto akakuwa sawa na watoto wa Kamel do walikuwa wadogo wakiwa na kitu six months unawekea tu yani unafunga tu kama watoto walizaliwa wa nini uh-huh. eh, so hata kwa watu wanakuja wanakuambia kai he aki watu wanasema umezaa tupanya unaona una something like that watu watu unajua wako sangi kuongea they talk but because mimi nilikuwa najua watoto wanazaliwa na wanako as long as they are breathing and they are fine and they are okay health wise wako sawa hakuna shida so watoto walimea hata after kukaka like two years na wavarishanga hata toza tatu jo wako wako na kamwidi hivi yeah but who is god after some time watoto wakakuwa healthy wakakuwa sasa wakubwa unaona sasa nikawa na watoto nne tukaendelea tu vizuri watoto wanamea wakaenda shule wakiwa class walikuwa like wakiwa class 4 ndio nikapata my last born now mwenye sasa ako class grade 6 sasa ni sasa so unaona the, the whole the whole family is complete na wako sawa hawajai gozeka so, so so watoto wangu wakakuwa wakubwa wakamaliza class 8 they performed very well hata wakiwa kwa shule wali, kuna wakati wale kwa shule class nini tofauti huyu anaomba ruhusa kwa shule anataka ana, ana, ana kwa na huyu mwingine anafanya hivyo tu wakiwa katikati waka collide waka ugana. so we had to last them hapa na Robi women walikuwa na dada wanaota ni kama they are having a conversation together but they are still sleeping unaona wakigeuka they still they are sleeping it's the same sasa ikafika wakati watoto wakatahili na tukafanya ile pati yenye tunafanyanga watoto wakaingia form 1 tukopeleka form 1 vizuri sana watoto hawajai kuwa na shida Venye walikuja Easter tukakuwa tuko na party kwa mamangu. Kwa mamangu si nimekuambia ni karibu tu. So tukaenda tukatija tukakula na tukakunywa. Ilikuwa on 22. So 23 ilikuwa 20 something the hapo 23rd ali, ni alianza kusema anasikia tonsils. Na tukampeleka hospitali na akapewa dawa. Sasa ikiwa hiyo 23rd sasa hiyo ndio ilikuwa sasa siku yenye tu no um, mtoto ni mgojwa. Akasema anaumwa na nini? Anaumwa na hapa. Then because the brother was studying medicine even now akaniambia ma hii si kitu poa venye unaona huyu mtoto anaumwa na hapa si tumpeleke tu hospitali serious yeah. so we went to Nairobi women that day na mtoto akachukuliwa and then they did the, the whatever the zenye walikuwa nataka kufanya and then wakasema mtoto ame ako na TB sasa venye walisema mtoto ako na TB was like god TB iko hivyo na sasa bubu anata na shida ku breathe unaona but sasa waka, ikarudi tena after tumekaa kidogo waka daktari akakuja daktari mkubwa so mimi sasa sijui mkubwa na mdogo ni gani hospital because of the same one about the same yeah. lakini sasa kuna unaambia watu goje daktari mkubwa afanye nini afike so the, when the doctor came akasema huyu mtoto si tb yuko na pneumonia baya sana na ndio inamfanya amejaa maji wapi amejaa maji huko. So tutamtibu na I should into worry parents sababu mimi nilikuwa nimelia ile yangu yote. Nilikuwa ninakaa yani ile ile yani unaona huyu mama is ako confused kabisa. <laughs> so the early in the next morning nikaambia brother yake enda uangalie brother yako kwa aje. So when he went there akanipigia simu akiwa do you know uh, munga yako HDU. So that made me go nuts. Mimi hata sijui nilivaa guaje but nijipata like 10 minutes tuko huko na bwanangu 
na my sister in law mwingine na na bwanake venye tulifika huko yes tulimpata huko but tukambua hatuwezi fanya nini so we decided to end hapo kwa darupe to worship kidogo then to rudi to dio to ambi venye tulienda kurudi ilikuwa kitu saa nne tukapata na edi anatolewa anaenda nini anaenda kupigwa xd aonekana shida daktari anataka kuona shida ni nini and then he was alikuwa meina mahivi and i love that boy that ni kuambia I love my children all of them yani kila mtu wako kuna kila mahali mtoto nimemweka kwa maisha yangu I don't talk about other mothers how wanapenda watoto but me I love my kids so much cuz hiyo uchungu imeni hit paka saa hii sasa akainika akai alikuwa ameina mali kama mama moga akai yes ma'am nikamwambia usijari utakuwa saa kani mama mko mgonjo wapi nikamwambia mimi sijui lakini si kitu ba na nikamwambia sumeingia kwa hiyo hosi na umeona si wewe tu akaniambia mam kitu yenye mimi nataka mimi sitaki kukaa huku hosi because HDU ya Nairobi women here Adams imeshikanishwa ICU na na, na HDU unaona so kuna watu wenye wako hali mahututi and then you are there so every night if mtu anaenda ama ako hapo ako ama ako venye ako because I think I know you've been there. Then in a kuaga it's hectic. Si kitu yenye unastahili kuona. Yeah, si kitu yenye unastahili kuona kila saa. Sasa mtoto wangu akanikamwambia you to be there. Lakini akarudi na karudisho haje, akarudisho huko. Tukashida na yeye tukashida but alikuwa amekuwa ile ni oxygen. Kale kadogo katu pipes. Nikamwambia utakuwa sawa the next day pia we came he was there alikuwa kwa pipe tunaambua tu tunauliza ni nini baya tunaambua still anatafutiwa ni nini shida iko wapi so ni kama hata hawaelewi shida iko iko wapi sasa ikafika wakati sasa amesweat na haezi breathe na miguu imeanza kuwa mbaridi tuko Nairobi women akaniambia daktari what we do because me si, unajua kuna mahali wezi ona kifu kuna vitu yani hata kuna magonjo inakujaga kama ni accident ama hiyo ya sister yangu hata ya sister yangu siko na kifo but hata hii sijaona kifo sababu mimi naona mtoto ni mzima amewekwa tu hizo pipe ndio atukiongea kwa sawa so daktari akaniambia the only thing we can do ni tutafute surgeon usain msa, the babake assign kalatasi dia atolewe hiyo maji jo ina msubu and he was done like that na akatolewa so when he alitolewa he came back to his normal na sasa akarudi ward na tukaendelea maisha mzuri na mtoto wetu tuko tunaenda huko si good day in feel much better yeah he was better okay. akakuwa better na na ametolewa anatolewa lakini the problem is he maji aishi unaona kila siku anatoa hizo hizo chupa bili chupa tatu haishi hiyo iko tu hapo iko hapo unaona but because na pia kulikuwa na mwingine hapa so hata sisi hatukua tunahurumia wetu tulikuwa tunaombea huyu mwingine ako ako wako na yeye hapa kwa ward mm. so tukaendelea hivyo and then mtoto akaka one month na na, na two weeks huko and then akapewa ruhusa end home after sasa majirisha so like three days ikaisha mtu akaanza kutapika so we lashed him back kwa Nairobi women and then daktari akasema because anatapika anastahili arudishwe huko so akarudishwe huko lakini akaenda ward. Yeah. Hiyo usiku akaekwa oxygen akiwa kwa ward. Asubuhi tukapigwa tukaambiwa tuende tu sign ma nini pepa aende arudi HDU. Yeah. So dio daktari alikuja eh unaona mekao kwa like three days. Daktari akasema wamepata kona shida ya heart condition. Mm-hmm. Unaona? <sighs> eh na sasa nini anastahili kuendelea na dawa za heart? So I had to risk a heart condition and we knew very well that the only place we knew very well in Adil na heart ni Kalen hospital so we decided kumchukua kumpeleka kale na huko tulikuwa tusha deep bill ya yeah, 2. Point something unaona sasa na mtoto anajua tumelipa because tukilipa si alikuwa anatembea he was well due to hospital so he knew everything that was happening so mtoto venye alisikia he asked me mom what are you doing nikamwambia tunataka kuchukua tukupeleke wapi Kalen Hospital ndio fanye nini uende utibiwe sababu daktari amesema uko na shida ya heart akaniambia ma dad atatoa hizo pesa zote wapi na kuna watoto wengine wako nyuma so nikamwambia tutauza kila kitu it told me no ma let me be hatuuzi hatukui maskini sababu yangu 
mimi sitaki kama wewe atembeage miguu sitaki kosh kosh ni brother yake mkubwa anafanya medicine nimekwambia sitaki kosh akose kufanya nini kusoma so when i had him say like that mimi miss jukani holy spirit but mimi riomba nikomba mpaka babu zikashikana so i fell kwa patient mwingine unaona ju nimeomba ni, ni, nimetoa sauti sirudishi ni kama siku anarudisha hewa ndani so nilikuwa naitoa yote mpaka babu zikafanya nini zikashikana so ni venye nilikuwa ninaanguka na angukia na angukia mgonjwa pia yeye hajiwezi huyo mgonjwa ni yale nishikiria but kazi ya bwanangu na mtoto wake wa sister yake wakawa wamefika so wakanishikiria wakanirudisha mtoto akaniambia usidie si na mama unapenda Mungu si anatujua Ukraine kamwambia basi nyamaza sisi tukupelekee hospitali Mungu sasa pesa ya kwenda hospitali Karen waka I mean Nairobi wakapiga Karen wakasema lazima ni kwa na deposit ya 500,000 ndio tuende nini Karen sasa na hizo 500,000 kusema kwa uwezi eka 500,000 hatujafika hapa pa kuweka pesa hii kama hizo mahali hatutazitoa tuende hospitali so there was this season of May nikimpiga simu she's there yes hatuko hivyo much but whenever you call her uko na shida she's there so we called the husband akakuja na akatudepea pesa yenye tukao tumebakisha and then what kama chairman wa chat yetu wa mwaki i mean jumuiya akakuja so we we had company wa kupeleka nini mtoto hospitali but ile uchungu wenye nilisikia ni kuingia kwa ambulance na my sister lakini sister yangu al travel ni kuingia kwa ambulance let me tell you na ningetaka kusema hata sahi people they don't understand sasa ile unaona ambulance tu kwa barabara inaenda wewe unasema hii gari ni nini ama unaiondoka ama hutaki ama unakibizana naye ama unauliza but let me tell you those people who are there inside either ni mgojwa either ni wenye wamegojekewa unaona hiyo kitu ina wacha hakuna kitu wenye uko na uoga hiyo hui hui na unajua hiyo hui hui ni ya mtoto wako it's really paint me so much but hakuna kitu ningefanya so we went to Karen hospital tulipata tumegojewa na mtoto akapokelewa vizuri but kule hakupewa trouser alipoa ile guo wanafunga hapa nyuma so he called me akaniuliza mama mbona mimi si pewi adawe ya unaona ni kama baby because we've come to another institution yenye atujui venye wanafanyaga na tumekuja kutibi it's not all about your nakedness it's all about you get well akaniambia ni sababu you know he had college ni mtoto ako na college so akaenda na akaekwa kwa HDU then pia wao they were all ensure miss ju wale waliwadikia nini mtoto ni mgonjwa nini so pia wao the first thing they did after walifanya nini test zao walianza bado kumpenda waza tibi so things started to be painful that time venye sasa maisha yangu ilianza kuwa gumu si venye alikuwa na Nairobi hospital venye tulianzana na Kalen hospital na si ati Kalen hospital ilifanya makosa manini in fact it is the best hospital ni hospital mzuri but ilianza mtoto amepewa ile ma, easy mask tunafanya tunavaa saa hii si unajua kitabu unapewa tu wakati kuna ile disease yenye ita it utaabukizwa si ndio so sasa tukapewa sana yeye ukiingia alikuwa nakwambia usiingie nitakuwa nitakuambukiza ugonjwa baya niko na ugonjwa baya ye hailewi ni nini so mimi we are family we are banangu amezaliwa huku na mimi nimezaliwa huku so the whole family iko hapa just imagine sasa watu wenye wameja so kuna familia wanakuja wanamuona they'll talk they'll say things but you don't care because nini ni nini watasema kama si kusema mtoto wako aponywe sasa unajua sasa wacha nikwambie venye ilifanyika sasa mtoto wangu venye alipewa hiyo anakuambia usiingie so mmoja akakuja akanipea 1000 ni nilie mtoto kitu but the hospital walikuwa wametuambia tusijaribu kunupea mtoto chakula nje na unajua kale ni wanapika chakula vizuri nikawa nikahawa so they'll give him whatever he asked so wakatuambia tusimpe so nikamwambia hii 1000 umempea sita sita si ntano lakini hawa wengine watakula but me I had fasted so the minute mtoto wangu aligia kale no hospital i was 110 kg by then nilikuwa nimefa nimeanza kufast so mimi siku anakula kitu i just told god siku yenye mtoto wangu atatoka hiyo si mungu mimi ndio nitakula and he sustained me because he is god mtoto sasa akaka alikaa sana hospitali ana alternate ako hdu ako ward ako hdu ako ward 
Ndio sasa wewe uko nasema nini? Sasa sasa wakaona kuna waka shida ya roho mm. na sasa imekuwa very weak. Sasa ile inaenda inakuwa sawa kuna venye wanampea zile dawa wana inject. Kuna ile nyingine wanaweka kwa mshipa deep tukaita conference kwa waka tukaita wa the whole family tukakuja. Venye tulikuja wakabu mtoto lazima ende South Africa. Kuna shida ya roho na hiyo roho Haiezi tenga si hata si maneno ya kuweka special na anything ni ade how South Africa sijui atibiwe nini unaona mm-hmm. and that time daktari anakasema anataka kumweka kwa ICU because hata akimweka hiyo oxygen haiedi venye inastahi inastahili me as a third crane as a third crane mamangu naye akafika so my mom alikuja akashika yule mtoto my mom she's a prayer warrior aliombea huyo mtoto akamwombea after she finished mtoto wangu aliambia mamangu mom i thought mom anaombaga sana but you you are a prayer woman mm-hmm. i'm healed imagine hata hakuwekwa kwa machine mm-hmm. he was back to normal na hiyo ikafanya nini na tukarudi tukakaa another month mtoto akiwa tu hosi hatupei ruhusa hagosi mgojwa sana eh ako tu anaangaliwa na bo his week sasa mara ya mwisho ndio sasa akuje ndio to last things eh mara ya mwisho ndio akuje ku sasa ndio sasa mambo yende venye ilienda tutaebu sasa next week mtafute pesa juzi kwa sababu accumulate like 8 million ndio huyo mtoto ato atoke sasa daktari akatwambia kitu yenye amebakisha ni kuwekwa protein so tunamweka protein sasa akosa ako sawa so i remember that sunday so dia toke wednesday tukaenda huko as we never went to church tukaanza sasa sikuongea story because we are happy now tuta go back to our normal ways jukari hospital it was like our working place tukwa tunatoka huko home saa moja saa tano tuko mpaka saa tano ya usiku every day me and my husband if they were husband to be called husband my husband kwa watoto wake he is a husband and a half he is a father and a half yani alifanya kazi hiyo ndio namsarut alifanya kazi yenye inastahili kama baba because others babas sikupenda kwa they get tired am wanachoka ama they are afraid eh uh, he is easy hivi he never got tired ile yake kabisa sasa venye tulienda huko tukaongea akaongeleshea huyo mtoto then i had my cousin mwenye anaka UK alikuwa amekuja like two months before so alikuwa anakuja kila siku anaombea huyo mtoto so that time akaniambia i feel like god telling me niambie huyo mtoto atubu za dhabi zake sababu wacha tu nikamwambia si that is okay akaambia mtoto akasoma biblia alafu akafanya nini aka aka nini akaomba akamwombea ile ya kutubu yeah. then tukabua tutoke nikitoka he called me back he told me mama Mom, i want to sleep and i want to sleep like 20 days then i'll wake up mm-hmm. so if i sleep don't cry <laughs> nikamwambia no usiseme hivyo because i knew ukisema una sleep una unataka kulala i don't know what to mean you want to sleep and you are in the hospital then when he saw me that i'm crying he told me mom i love you miss ladia ati sababu siladia ati sababu ati ninakufa na lala ndio nipumzike sababu hizi mashindano mashindano kila siku zinakuwa too much <sighs> nikamwambia Mam, nikamwambia ni sawa but he had me na akanipea peka akaniambia mama i love you so much nika mama nakupenda your world yeah when you preach yani you know i used to tell them those things because uh, bible yani nasikia hata pastor akisema you have to prophesy for your kids zile maneno utatoa hivyo ndivyo watafanya nini watakuwa so the next morning my husband akaniambia jum our son is okay let me go nikatafute insurance ya gari alafu ndio nifanye nini ndio tunitupatane kale so mimi nikalikuwa naoga ndio niende but immediately ninatoka my brother inua akakuja si nakwambia tuko pamoja zote akaniambia tumepigwa simu na tumkibia kale in hospital so nikamwambia ni nini immediately wacha nikueleze people don't understand about death and even you should it mocka mother said him yani ako na mtoto mgojwa immediately aliniambia hivyo mimi niliona hapa pa mejaa maji so i didn't know i'm sweating from where unaona so hapa palikuwa tu panatoka 
maji hapa kwa kitovu unaona na nikasikia uchungu you see the river pens and you nasikia you still young you don't have a child but that time ikifika you will understand what I'm trying to tell you hiyo uchungu yenye ilikuja sijaisikia nijaribu kwenda cho hakuna kitu inatoka so nikaingia kwa gari na hiyo uchungu and then I was shaking so ni mpaka tukampata tukamwambia mtoto wako ICU tukaenda ICU ICU nilikuwa nimekaa ICU hiyo sababu mtoto alinakuambia alikuwa anaenda ICU karen ni kama tu ICU na HD they are both mixed so unaona wagodwa wengine wakienda ukiwa hapa sasa kuna kidro ingine inakuaga hospitali zote and I have come to realize because now I've been natembea hospitali hata kuona wagonjwa wengine kuna kidro ingine hapo ya red na kuanga na to box twingi so ukiona hiyo kidro ikikaribia wewe ama mtoto wako it is not good so nikaona hiyo kidro iko hapo ninaona wana si ile CPL wanafinya mtoto unaona wanafinya tukaambi tukabu tokeni tokeni kaeni wapi kaeni pale when they first walituambia tukuje then i cried and i looked above nikambia god i ask you for my twins and you give me why are you doing this to me what is wrong god where are you where are you right now and then kashiko because ile kikitu tena ya kujikuja kwa mwili ikakuja san mtoto wa gikonyo akakuja akaniuliza how is your husband then my cousin because she talks so fast very quick akasema no we are enough ya tell us what is happening akaniambia mom i'm sorry so when he told me i'm sorry no that was not the time nikampiga magoti na nikamshika kwa miguu hivi not kupiga nilikaa chini chini hivi nika nikamshika kwa mguu hivi nikamwambia no my son is still alive don't tell me akaniambia no you know even him he started crying so anajishika kichwa ataniambia nini then nikamwambia please once go back there because my son is not dead please he's not dead I know hajakufa so do alikuwa anataka sasa aniridhishe he went back there and then akamshika aje and then he said oh my god the pass are still on so si ni kwanza kurudishwa sasa mtoto akarudi hivi mtoto akarudi na wakaniambia because now he's okay he, pressure is stabilized nilikuwa nime eh akarudi no more akarudi uhai mtoto na alikuwa amefanywa hizo CPL like, like 10 na akarudi sawa na do alikuwa kwa ICU so mimi nikaenda na nikamuona na nikabio niache kwanza aturie daktari mwingine wa huko alikuwa amevaa hizi ka hizi what do we say the whatever yenye wanavanga kwa shigo do job mtu anafanya kazi kwa was a doctor she was a doctor mimi naomba naomba kila mtu anaomba zake then she stood akasema hapa there are two families na kuna mama ako na mtu, watoto mtoto mmoja na huyo mwingine ni twins na naomba watoto wafanye nini mtoto apone there is a family nyenye wanaomba mtoto apone kuna mwenye hapa naomba mtoto asipone so mimi venye nili, niliona hivyo nilijiboga tu chini and i told them because you are my family and all of you here if i ever lost someone nisameheni so we, i cried nikalia nikapiga magoti nikatoa mpaka wig juu haikuwa hata inanisaidia but fenye sasa niliomba hakuna mtu ananichibu and then unaona sasa wengine wamechukulia kuoba nikifungua wale tu walikuwa kwa hosi walitoka na wakafanya nini na washatoka na wakaenda wale walikuwa huko wakatumana niambiwe nimewakosea sababu nimeita watu waombe wa, ni wamesema ati mimi nimesema wadi wanaua mtoto wa mtoto wangu So mimi nikaona hawa ni familia. How could they could they say how could they say that? Si nikarudi call. Nikaenda kuambia. Hiyo mimi siwezi sema. Venye huyu mtoto sasa venye sasa tuliogea hivyo, sikao hiyo siku tulia bado huko ICU paka moni. Sasa hapo moni ndio tulipoteza nini? Tulipot aliaga. It was painful. Ilikuwa ni kitu yenye kama kama familia especially the twin because he knocked himself on the wall ili mm-hmm. alijigoganisha yani alijivujavuja mm-hmm. he asked god you brought us together how comes we to go we meniacha tuchukue zote wawili so one day 
tukao tunapeleka mtoto i just check my son like this huyo mtoto sasa the uh, twin mingine nikaona anakaa anaka different unaona so i ask him kuna mahali pana kuuma hapana so nikamwambia we need to go for a check up alifanywa echo the first thing huyo daktari huyo echo anaitwa the imager mwenye anachukua nga hiyo nini akasema do you know that mtoto wako masuza mtoto wako aziko week za moyo mm-hmm. so I was like god so unaona hajui Kenya tumebitia saa zote tulianza kulia akatutuma aga kan tukaona daktari na daktari die mwenyewe alisema huyu mtoto akona shida ya na akona stress mm-hmm. so akampia dawa ya kufanya nini ya kurara so alikuwa anakunya dawa 10 anaamka 10 so hata shule alikuwa na miaka ngapi 18 alikuwa amechukua mpaka ID. Tulimpeleka kansuri mara ya kwanza. Alisema he's okay. Anajibu the collect thing mpaka huyo kansuri aniambia huyo ashakubali. But he never did. Ye alinyamazia. But he used to tell me mommy, do you know I always be there for you. And the same same thing. Hiyo ndio huyo mwingine alikuwa ananiambia I'll be there for you. But they're not there. August tube kamlemea akikunywa dawa zote anatapika so daktari akasema it's better huyu mtoto afanye nini alazo hosidi atolewe hii gas na pia galiwe loho venye inafanya nini In, eh, eh, venye inaendelea daktari akamwangalia akamwambia okay you're okay to go back to school atizo dawa za kula achana nazo and you come after the three months kio hapa kaniambia mimi nahisi ja so venye aliniambia nahisi ja nikamwambia ni sawa tutafute mahali tukula ama tunywe chipo ugwaro akaniambia ni sawa sasa kuna mtu alikuwa anavuta sigara. Sasa babake akamuuliza tuko ndani tunaenda home. Yeye amefungua kio na amengaagaria nje aje hivi. Akamuuliza kama huu, kwani hiyo sigara imenukaje nikawa mtu anavutia ndani? Alimwambia dad, ni huyo mtu amevuta amevuta sigara na amevuta yote puff yote, akapuff nusu. Alafu amenipulizia yote kwa uso. Hadi dad nimehisi kizunguzugu. So mimi nikaangalia nyuma nikamuuliza, nikaona mtoto wako nikamwambia dad ni nikanyaga break saa mimi nikatoka nikafugua mlango nikamwambia kamau nikamshika hivi na nguvu kamau akanita he akaita he hivyo tu so straight paka na robi hospital tukafika hapo tukachukua mtoto tukaenda amekwa kwa mashine akaekwa mashine akafanana mugai venye tu alikuwa kwa mashine the last day mimi nilidia mtoto wangu alioba i have a prayer man kadogo kaliomba alikuwa na to console kama kijana baba mkubwa mimi na babake daktari he came there akatuambia alikuwa amepata na heart attack but ako sawa amerudi ame stabilize tulipe icu 600000 na pesa atukua so tukamwambia sahi hatuna hizo pesa zote zenye akatukamuza kuna hospital akatuambia Kenya ta private wing wana chat 200000 kufika kenyata si unawampea watoto mtoto wanaenda wamfanyia vitu zao and then mnaambia mkae nje after wana watu kaitwa tukaulizwa mama unimwambia nini mtoto wako amefanya tukamwambia atumiambiwa na heart attack akaniambia mtoto wako hayuko sawa ako 90 90% anaizaenda oxygen yake imekufa i mean akili zimekufa juu amekosa oxygen unaona mm nikamwambia no and because i had experience kijana mwingine amepata eh uh, uh, no kijana mwingine amepata accident na ameambiwa hivyo so mimi nikamwambia mtoto wangu akufi akaniambia kwa 3% nikaenda nikamuona kumuita alimwaga tu machozi sikulia saa hiyo nikaenda tukabwa twende nyumbani tukuje asubuhi venye tulienda nyumbani nikiamka asubuhi nisikia tu ile kitovu imeanza kutoa maji nikasikia uchungu kajaribu kwenda chosi hizi kamwambia mwanangu amka twende hosi akaniona akaniambia stella hawa watoto ni Mungu alitupea na anajua venye tumewalea na uchungu na anajua uchungu ni atripitia wakati wa mugai amka twende na ujipe gufu tukatoka kwetu wote tukaenda tukapata mtoto wangu bado ako uhai lakini bado zile CPR zao anafanya nini? Anafanyiwa. Alifanyiwa kama nini tukiwa hapo. Tunabua garia. Sasa tukaitwa mwanamshu kuja. Mimi niliona tu ikienda ile inafanyanga ti. Unasema daktari anasema time of death. Tunajua mtoto wako ameenda. Brother yake nimwambia kuje. 
Us, alisema akuje usiku dia muone babake akamkataza so he came in the morning na mahali kama huo aliwekwa hakukuwa na, na curtains so aliona mtu amefunikiwa amekufa so anakuja akaniambia mam nataka kumuona kama huu na kama wao ni huyo amefanya nini amefunikiwa it was painful mm. sijui uwezi jua bona mungu alinipa na akachukua because my children mimi niliwaombea watoto wangu hawako ati wale ati kwetu kuna mapata ama kwa bwana kuna mapata mimi niliomba Mungu anipe mapata alinipea mapata but akawachukua i don't know the reason why unaona but people they'll mock you there's so say so many things zenye zitakuuma but they don't know the pain mimi ningetaka kuambia watu yeah. onye kabisa kama umepata mtu amefiwa either ni mamake either ni mtoto wake either ni babake hata kama uko na beef na yeye country hiyo sio time ya kutake revenge. Hawezi 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 kufanyia kitu. Una mock nini? There's different between mocking, utaongea huko. But kuna watu wanaongea maneno. People talked. Si mwingine anakuambia uhame huko, watoto wako wanauliwa, watoto wako wanarogwa, mbona watoto wako wanakufa? Kwanza moja na niulize na venye unaobanga, na venye tunajua Mungu ni Mungu hakupendi. Unaona people tell me usiende kwa kaburi zao ukawaone where do I go niende wapi kwingine kama si waona they love me whatever they promised me even before huyo akufe hiyo siku tupio kwa hosi aliambia secretary this woman venye anapenda i'll never leave her little did i know ataniacha after some few minutes hata kuwa na mimi but i know ananiona tu if anioni Mungu anajua nikuwa na mapacha na ninawapenda so they are my children don't talk ill about them even though they are dead they are dead bodily watu wanaezaona ni mzamani wengine wakamwambia let your children rest in peace i have already let them sleep in peace because ijaenda kuwatoa kwa kaburi but in my heart they still be my children i'll never be called mother of three nitakuwa ninaitwa mama wa watoto watano it is me who will differentiate ni seme they are three because what we need hawa hawako but mimi mahari nitaenda mimi ni mama ya watoto wagapi watano they are my angels in heaven my dad alilia sana because hajaizaliwa na mtu mwingine mimi ndio nilikuwa nimemza and usizo hawa wengine watu wamezeka unaona nikaa mimi last born kwetu but my son alimwambia you shouldn't cry me am here I know Mungu mwenye alipea mama mapacha. Atanipea mapacha mpaka nizee kama una muga hii huyo. Because kuna Mungu. Stella. Mm. Asante sana kwa kuja na kushare story yako. It's yeah. very painful. Very yet powerful. Na jump to skills of the episode. Mm. Ata learn something from it. You know grieving is not easy. It is not easy. Mm-hmm. Hata akiwa 18 na akiwa 30. Hata akiwa eh wafuzo. good. Eh. So for that nata na jota kwa kupoteza watoto. Mm. Walitoka hii dunia kama wamependwa na walikuwa na jua wamependwa. Yeah. And that is important. So, mm-hmm. so thank you so much asante sana kwa kuzidi kuongea. Mm. Na tukimalizia mtu akitaka kukupata is it okay? Would you mind giving a number? No, no watu wengi wamenitafuta. Some even from TikTok family wamekuja home kuniona. Kuna wamama wame introduce kwa wamama wenye wamepoteza watoto wao eh mimi sina shida i'm there to talk to someone kuongea na wao kuonyesha kwamba Mungu anatenda i'm here nimepoteza but i'm still surviving and it does yani ukipoteza hata kama haukuwa na mwingine haisemi ati ni mwisho wako wa kuishi Mungu amekupangia jambo lingine ju kila kitu kuna one thing najua either mtoto wako atagongwa na gari Either atachomeka either atakufa venye kama wangu alikufa hakuna mtu ako na nguvu za kushika moyo wa mtoto wako awe it's only god who give permission for that to happen so one thing whenever you are just control yourself na waambie mungu wedi all in pair so ninaomba wale wa mamoto wamepitia shida familia zenye wamepoteza watoto wao watoto wenye wamepoteza hata wazazi juu hata hao wanapitia maisha gumu sana one thing mujue kuna Mungu na pia serikali ichukue ipate nafasi tu 
ya ku, ya kushika ya kufanya kukwenda in, inaitwa the institution fulani yenye watu wakifiwa wanaenda hapo like mothers unaacha kukaa ni kama unaona uko peke yako unajua mtu akifua na unaga hawa wengine kwa ili yako ni wewe but ukishafanya venye nilifanya tiktok ni una si peke yangu there are so many people kama serikali gashika hawa mama wa mama mikono yani waeze hata wakujua yako ama wawafunze kukwe na watu wanawaongelea because even pain counselors wakuja ongesha it's lazima ukwe na pesa si ni ukweli so ni vizuri sana hata society ichukulie hawa watu wanapoteza watu wao wawachukue kama watu wanapendwa waongelea vizuri wawasikize give them your ear to listen because for her it, it is today you don't know about tomorrow leo ni mimi kesho ni we lakini hatuombi watu wakufe tunaomba watu waishi na wamama wale watoto wao na watoto wazike wazazi wao wakiwa wazee si wakiwa wadogo sasa ni namba yangu ni 0717 for 17100 mm. asante sana nimeshukuru asante mhm really really appreciate and you're, you're a strong woman yeah and i know a lot of people will get to learn a lot from you so mm-hmm. yeah to you our citizen digital family thank you so much for joining today's episode till next time let's keep it citizen digital